I'm gonna go in and check the websites. And okay, see what's the, with the fire. fire report. Cool. All right. So see you too. It's always what's a nice girl like you doing in a really weird discipline like this. I grew up as my dad's only son. I went hunting and fishing, camping with my dad every weekend, and he was the biggest element in my universe. My dad and I had a conversation when I was eight. I remember it vividly. My dad said, well, what do you want to do when you grow up? I said, I want to be an engineer. I don't think I knew what an engineer was. It was the most male thing I could think of doing. My dad said, well, okay, but maybe your mom would have something to say about it. She might like you to do it. And I think I just had a fight with my mom about wearing dresses or something, and I just really got mad. I said, why can't I do both? Why can't I wear dresses? Why can't I be an engineer too? And so my dad looked at me and he said, well, if you work hard enough, there shouldn't be anything that you can't do. The world in the 50s, early 60s, it was a different place. Why do you want to take calculus? You're just going to grow up and have babies. To tell you the truth, Janice, you need to know more than just how to run a house or an apartment. You need to know why as well as how. All of this, this counseling that was so aimed at making you do what was expected in the norm rather than going off and being an engineer. I will think about it, Miss Jenkins, and thank you. Today, a new moon is in the sky, a 23-inch metal sphere placed in orbit by a Russian rocket. You are hearing the actual signals transmitted by the Earth-circling satellite, one of the great scientific feats of the age. Beep, beep, beep as it went over, right? Smutnik changed a lot of things. That actually opened huge doors for me. The fact that suddenly the U.S. had to catch up in science and engineering meant that it wasn't so crazy that a young girl said she wanted to be an engineer. 